Fans, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be live and in your lap on April 13th at the Princeton Rec Center in Princeton, West Virginia. Come and make sure you're a part of the best professional wrestling in Southern West Virginia, West Virginia Championship Wrestling. fans, if you are anywhere near Kingwood, West Virginia on Sunday, April 14th, come on down to the Craig Civic Center and see IWWA Pro Wrestling. Some of the best talent you're ever going to see. Doors open up at 12.30, bell time 1.30. We have the Outlaw, Ron Bass, the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, all the stars of Pro Wrestling Shakira, Dominic Danucci, Shark Boy, Sanjay Dutt, and Ryan Mitchell, plus so many more. Tickets, $10 in advance and only 15 at the door. How can you beat a deal like that? Advanced ticket locations at the Craig Civic Center and Preston Parts right there in Kingwood, Chuck Store in Newburgh, Baldinas Pharmacy in Masontown, Pierpoint Landing in Morgantown, and Superior Ford in Saberton. Sponsored by Brick Street Insurance, the Kingwood Eagles, Suburban Extended Stay Hotel, and Dinsmore Law. Fans, don't forget, Sunday, April 14th at the Craig Civic Center, be there. And we are right here in the middle of the ring with a big contract signing between the Bunkhouse Boys and the Outlaws. The Bunkhouse Boys looking over there saying that they that the Outlaws need to sign theirs first. What's that say? That you, you know how to read. Are you crazy? You know what it says. Just read over the contract. You guys have already read over this a little bit. I don't need to read the contract too closely to understand, Big Willie, that this contract says that I get my hands on you and you in just three short days. And it's a street fight, which means I can avenge every dirty deed you've done. We can bring what we want, wear what we want. You will feel the full power wrath of the outlaws in a match that was made for us. That's what that contract says. Well, at least this time you don't have to sneak in from the back to jump us from behind like some coward West Virginian. Really? You want to talk about a coward? Let's talk about you fools from Texas. How do you think I ended up in that situation? How many times have we been jumped from behind, left in piles? It's all over. Street fight. Three days. Side contract. You want us to sign this contract in front of these dirty, nasty West Virginians? Half of them's a bunch of low coal miners, and the other half star on that MTV show. I support the people of this state 100%. I bleed blue and gold, and I'll stand with the coal miners. I'll stand with every one of them in this state, and I'll stand in this ring, and I'll put you fools back to Texas. Let me tell you what. In three days, we're going to see how much you can bleed. Look, you want to stand for these West Virginians? Well, the outlaws are going to go down like Marshall in 1971. Wow. Strong words from the Bunkhouse Boys. The Bunkhouse Boys have signed theirs. I'm just waiting on Eric St. Clair to sign on the dotted line here. There you go. It is signed. It is official. Eric Foster, tell these boys from Texas to remember. Remember the Alamo and that it fell too. There you go. Strong words between the two teams. Fans, let's go to some pre-recorded comments from Old School Elite. Showed up. I'm going to tell you right now, Bunk House. We ain't forgot you. You can run back to Texas. You can do what you want to do. But you know what? There's going to come a time. We're going to cross paths again. Yeah, Bunk House, boys. Y'all think you're big and bad in Texas. You got a heifer for a girl coming out with you. I don't care. I'll take all four of you guys on. Oh, they wanted it, they got it. But let me tell you, we brought our good luck charm diamond 
and we're going to walk away with the victory because we're going to lead them on West Virginia. Never seen Eric run like that. That's a mighty hojo, and Eric St. Clair taking care of business here. Fans, here we go. Action has already started, and they weren't even going to make it to the ring. business right now. They weren't going to make it to the ring as, as we see the Outlaws taking it to uh, the Bunkhouse boys right here. I can't believe this action. And fans. Did you miss me? I don't even know you, so you don't even count. As far as old school leet, I held it together. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm done. Joey Morton, my old friend. I don't know if you hit your head, something's not right. We're gonna take care of you when the time is right. In Joey's day, he was one of the best around. Unfortunately though, it's no longer I his day. I may have day. done more, I may have seen more, I may have beat more people, but you hey, know, you've been around. you're as good as War Machine, I'm pretty sure that you produce pretty good the offspring. The best thing going today, the renegade Nero. Dave Scott, it's been treating me pretty rough, trying to damage me. It's I'm Dave Scott it. one, Nero one. How about we do it again one more time, make it official, and make it Nero 2, Dave Scott 1. I know I wasn't here last time, sorry, my fault, but I'm here now. If you want to get in here with Dave Scott right now, I'll be right here and I got your back. My answer. One to one. You know what it is. Aslan Victoria Sempre. Until victory, always Dave Scott. Get out here. And on with this match. Dave And here we go, chapter three in this story. Um, you know, Randy Hicks, I can't help but think that what this youngster lacks in size and stature, he more than makes up for in heart. Oh, you know, definitely. I mean, the, the, the kid has come out here, you know, this is his third time against <laughs> probably one of the most dangerous men in WVCW, and he is not backing down. Or any promotion for that matter. Oh, shit. You mean there are other promotions? <laughs> there used to be. All right, beautiful Enziguri. He goes for the cover. Only gets a count of two. 
You know, it seems to me it'd be with, with his stature, with the Renegade stature, it'd be difficult to actually get a good solid pin on somebody the size of Dave Scott. He's going to have to, you know, almost knock him out. Wow, speaking of almost being knocked out with authority there. He goes for the cover again. You know, I, I, I know that Joey Morton is one of the most calculating and strategic individuals in this entire sport, but I can't help but wonder, you know, what he's thinking. Where did he come up with Nero? Well, again, he went back to his roots, and he, he made a phone call to the War Machine, and the War Machine, unfortunately, couldn't make it here to WVCW. So he sent the next best thing, his own flesh and blood, the renegade Nero. Of course, you have to wonder: is this is this too much? Can is this too much for this young man? Is he going to be able to uphold? Oh, wait a minute! Look at this beautiful Hurricane Rana from the top rope. Nero tries to capitalize, and just a two count there. That's all we got. And Nero, the renegade, going back up to the high rent district, right off that top rope. Look at this. And Dave Scott catches him like a football. Oh! oh. Knocks down. down referee Cody Green. Dangerous Dave Scott going to check on him. Once again, this, this could be the opportunity that Nero needs. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, if the referee's down, it doesn't matter. The referee has to be up to count of one, two, three. Oh! Dave Look. Scott may be taking the worst of that. Look. Oh, wait a minute. What? Joey Morton's in the ring. What? What? What's he doing? He he, he just gave Nero a chain. Is, is he going to? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's look, he got in his hand? This. Oh. What? Wait, wait a minute. Could, did, did this mean? What, what did he just stick back into his back pocket? I knew it was too good to be true. That's, that's it. Look at him, old school elite. Just when we thought Joey was out, he got pulled right back in. This is unbelievable. Somebody's gotta get in there and help this kid. Oh, here we go. The Fans, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be live and in your lap on April 13th at the Princeton Rec Center in Princeton, West Virginia. Come and make sure you're a part of the best professional wrestling in Southern West Virginia, West Virginia Championship Wrestling.
Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. West Virginia Championship Wrestling on the air in our opening contest. Taylor May, Kurt Taylor taking on Stephen Michaels and joining me this week here at the table, none other than Kurt Taylor's former partner, Daniel Halen. Former is a great way to put it, Foster. Fans of WVCW, welcome. It's Wednesday, it's noon. It's a great time to get some great action going. The only problem I have with this match is that it's Stephen Michaels in the ring instead of me, Foster. You see, I'm the one that needs to get my hand on Kurt. I'm the one that needs to show him that I'm not the bad end of the deal. I'm not the partner that screwed this up. I'm really not. As we see Kurt Taylor there, shoves him off in a big clothesline there by Kurt Taylor onto Stephen Michaels. Knocks Stephen Michaels right down onto the ground there. You know, Michaels has everything he needs in this match. He has the fans behind him. Oh! He has more experience than he has. Maybe I spoke too soon. Kurt Taylor there getting ready to punch the man right in the face and pokes him in the eye right there in front of ref referee uh, official there, Mike McCabe, hired ever since all the, the stuff that went down with uh, Randy Hicks. It, it makes uh, me mad that he has to use these you know, these moves that he wouldn't normally use before, pokes to the eyes, you know, kicks kicks to the gut that are illegal, holes that are illegal because, because he thinks he's a new person. Oh, Stephen Michaels firing back here onto Kurt Taylor. Shoots Kurt Taylor off, big reversal by Taylor into the turnbuckle there to Stephen Michaels. Kurt Taylor coming full force, big boot to the chest I area. did not expect that. Stephen Taylor going up, what's gonna happen next? He comes off with a big oh. clothesline, knocking oh. Taylor May Cover him. Taylor down. Cover him, Michaels, you need to do that right now, cover him. And of course he powders out like I thought he would. Kurt Taylor rolling to the outside of the ring, trying to shake the cobwebs. I really just want to go out there and get my hands on him and throw him back into the ring. I really do, but I can't. Yeah, the crowd behind Stephen Michaels here as Kurt Taylor makes it back into the ring. Now they lock up right there. Big side headlock by Taylor May. Kurt Taylor shows the man off right there. Oh, big shoulder tackle by Stephen Michaels. Stephen Michaels doesn't know what he's going to do next. Like, they want to fight. They lock up right there in the middle of the ring. Kurt Taylor just shoves him off and goes in with a couple big punches right there. As, as much as we've been through, I have to admit, Kurt, Kurt, is, Kurt is great. He's great in the ring. Boom! What, he's what doing. a move there by Kurt Taylor. As evident. It, Sorry, it's just, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, it's, it's fine, Foster. I'm just, I'm just tore up right now with everything going on that happened to me and Kurt and everything. I didn't expect it. Oh! Kurt Taylor not catching all that move right there. Going for the cover. One, two, two count. <laughs> referee Mike McKay, our new referee here. Um... Ever since Randy Hicks quit on me, I had to hire a new referee. So, so what's the deal with that? I, you know, I don't know. You have to talk to the board of directors. As here he comes, Stephen Michaels coming full force, misses a splash. Taylor made Kurt Taylor, Taylor the finish. Oh, what is that called? One. It's called two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your winner, Taylor May. Great, Kurt Taylor. Fans, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be live and in your lap on April 13th at the Princeton Rec Center in Princeton, West Virginia. Come and make sure you're a part of the best professional wrestling in Southern West Virginia, West Virginia Championship Wrestling.
go. Comes off big monkey flip there by the Chester. He just hit that oh. guy. He hit it hard. He's going to be walking funny tomorrow. Oh. Is that legal? Uh, in this business. Oh. Oh, oh, this is the first time crazy after all our awards episodes. Oh, big springing elbow. What, what did you win again? What is Nothing. Is that a, is he that cannot use that in the past. I'm five of my own dirt on the mountain events every year. I won every time. Oh, shining wizard. Oh, he Welcome is a referee. He is a referee. Here we go once again uh, with our next match. As we just heard, Roger Ham is going to wrestle the Jester here. Uh, I don't know much about this. This guy from under the big top. Which one's the clown, Foster? What is it? Which one's the clown? Uh, I don't know, but I'll, all I know is I wouldn't call Chocolate Thunder a clown. I, I hope there's cake out after this. Looks well, like Jester here working the crowd, trying to get their support behind him here. I think the Jester's just out there dancing around, trying to throw Roger Ham off his game a little bit there. It might just do it. So we see the two circling around here. They go for a lockup right there in the middle of the ring. Doctor of Desire, Roger Ham. The mat veteran he is with a side headlock. Jester showing the man off. Big shoulder tackle there by the doctor, Roger Hand. He's definitely showing now his. Now he's mocking him there. Firing the Jester up. The Jester coming back all over the Roger Ham. And he just scrapes his back right there. It's the experience that Roger Ham has behind him all these years in professional wrestling. Taking Jester to the corner, the opposite corner, and with a kick to the gut. A few forearms. Looks like Jester has his money cut out for him here, fans, with a nice vertical suplex. And what a nice vertical suplex it was. It's Roger Ham now working on the lower back of the Jester there, or actually about mid-back. Jester. Talking to Chocolate Thunder back. right there. What do you think about that? And the Jester starts firing back. I don't think Jester's really afraid of anyone, you know? He, he's just he's a laid-back guy. You know, take on any all-comers. What a, oh, oh, what a big back elbow there by the Jester. Roger Ham climbing out of the ring. Somebody get him back in there. Come on, there I want to see the rest of this. Chocolate Thunder telling him he has to get back in the ring. I like this guy already. The Jester just dancing around. He should be saving some of that energy for Roger Ham. Well, I think I just heard him talk. Uh, yeah, I, I think he just asked Roger Ham if he was scared of clowns. I am. Are you now? No. Because uh, I was wondering why you never showed up to my birthday party. Because I didn't want I didn't get an invite. Probably didn't give me a gift either, did you? I did sitting at the house. I still love you. Whatever. Back to the match. He has him in a wrist lock here. Jester getting back to his feet slowly. Trying to get some momentum behind him. And he reverses it. Big arm ringer reversal there by the Jester. Oh, and a big just right hand straight to the gut of the gesture by Roger Ham. Roger Ham just taking all his weight and just putting it on his lower back right there. He's been Roger Ham firing up with a big right hand. He's been working on that lower back, you know, since the beginning of the match and everything. I wonder if this is part of his strategy. I I think it uh I think it will be as you know, you, that's what you got to do in this profession. You got to pick a body part and stick with it. Definitely. Another big back break there. Referee Patrick Nicholas admonishing Roger Ham there in the middle of the ring. It's now he shoots off the gesture. What's going to happen? That big high, high knee, knee there onto the gesture by the Doctor of Desire, Roger Ham. Where is Rip Manson? He said Rip Manson's out on vacation somewhere with Mama Ham. Rip, Rip Manson's oh. a funny character. Oh, where did that confetti come from? Com okay, oh. I, I would expect that. Could this be it? Oh. Pile driver. pile driver goes for the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there is your winner, the Doctor of Desire, That's no Roger Ham. Fans, I've got a big interview coming up with the new number one contender. Yeah. Fans, joining me now here at ringside, the new number one contender for the WVCW Heavyweight Championship. Scotty Reigns and Scotty at the beginning of our program. We had some pre recorded comments from Old School Elite. You heard what those comments were. I hear you have a rebuttal. Old School Elite is basically just old, as far as I'm concerned. It's a new time. 
It's a new time here in West Virginia Championship Wrestling. The Iceman is here. He's not worrying about what old school. They want to crack all their little short jokes, make everything they want to say. I'm going to do my speaking right here in this ring. And I can tell you one, Miracle on the Mountain, that title is coming around this man's waist. And I'm going to hear everybody chanting that we got a new champion here in West Coast, Virginia. Your guitar a little bit more, you low life. <laughs> Wrestling. 